Let's have a look at some quick fire questions on particles, starting off with a few that are good for GCSE and A level. One, give two similarities and one difference between protons and neutrons. Similarities are they're both found in the nucleus, we can call them nucleons, and they have the same mass, pretty much anyway. Proton charge is plus one or plus one E, and the neutron has no charge. Two, what does an element's mass number, and its relative atomic mass, tell you? Tells you how many protons and neutrons or nucleons are in the nucleus. Three, what are isotopes? Isotopes are atoms or nuclei with the same atomic number, that's the same number of protons, same element, but they have different numbers of neutrons, so they have a different mass. Four, what is an alpha particle and what are its properties? It's a helium nucleus, or two protons and two neutrons. It's highly ionizing and it has a low penetrating ability, stopped by a piece of paper or a few centimeters of air. Five, what is a beta or beta particle and its properties? It's a fast moving electron. It's got medium ionizing and penetrating ability. It's stopped by a few millimeters of aluminium. Six, what is gamma radiation and its properties? It's a high energy electromagnetic wave. It's weakly ionizing, but highly penetrative. It's emitted by an excited nucleus, so the nucleus doesn't change when it emits it, unlike alpha and beta. It can't be stopped completely, but its intensity can be reduced by concrete and lead effectively. Seven, complete this equation for alpha decay. So we know that alpha is four and two, so we just take four away from the mass and two away from the atomic number. Eight, complete this equation for beta decay. We know that an electron has negligible mass, so we say zero for that, but it has a proton number or atomic number of minus one because it's got the opposite charge to a proton. So that means the mass doesn't change, but the proton number goes up by one, turning carbon into nitrogen. A-level people, don't forget that to balance lepton number, we must have an anti-electron neutrino emitted also. That's it for GCSE, let's do some just A-level questions. Nine, how do you calculate specific charge and what is the unit and general magnitude? In other words, how big is it? Specific charge is also known as the charge to mass ratio. So that's charge divided by mass. So the units are coulombs per kilogram. Generally huge because even though the charge is gonna be small for particles, the mass is even smaller. 10, what force overcomes electrostatic repulsion to keep a nucleus together? It's the strong force or the strong nuclear force. 11, what are the properties of the strong nuclear force? It affects nucleons, in general, hadrons. The range is three to four femtometers, and it's attractive above 0.5 femtometers and repulsive below. That means that nuclei don't implode. 12, what are hadrons, that is baryons and mesons, consist of? They're made up of quarks. Baryons have three, mesons have two. Always a quark, anti-quark pair. They don't have to be the same flavor though. 13, what is a muon? It's a lepton. It's effectively a heavy electron. 14, what is the antiparticle equivalent of an electron and what is the only difference? It's called a positron or anti-electron and the charge is plus E as opposed to minus E for an electron. 15, what force must be involved in any interaction involving leptons? It's the weak nuclear force. 16, what three things are always conserved in an interaction? charge, baryon number, and lepton number. 17, when is strangeness conserved? It's conserved in strong interactions, but not weak. 18, what are the gauge bosons or exchange particles for the three main forces involved in particle physics? For electromagnetic, it's the virtual photon. For strong, it's the pion. Sometimes you'll see gluon instead. And for weak, it's W plus or W minus boson. We're forgetting the Z zero boson and also gravity. 19, what are the quark compositions of protons and neutrons? It's the nud and the pood. Neutron is up, down, down. Proton is up, up, down. 20, in terms of quarks, what happens during beta minus decay? Well, a neutron turns into a proton. So that means that up, down, down turns to up, up, down. That means we have a down quark turning into an up quark. 21, what is the equation to calculate rest energy? It's the most famous equation of them all, E equals mc squared. 22, what is annihilation? So when a particle and its antiparticle collide and are destroyed, making two photons. That means that two lots of mc squared plus whatever kinetic energy they had 
gets turned into two lots of HF, HF being the energy of a photon. 23. What is pair production? It's when a photon with sufficient energy spontaneously produces a particle and antiparticle pair. That means that HF goes in and that's equal to two lots of mc squared plus whatever kinetic energy the particles have left over. Quite often you'll be asked what's the minimum energy that the photon must have. That means there's no energy left over for kinetic energy. 24. What is one electron volt? One electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules, but not a lot of people know that it's the energy an electron has when accelerated through a potential difference of one volt. That's the definition. 25. How many joules is one mega electron volt? Instead of messing around with powers of 10, it's handy to remember that one mega electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. We deal with mega electron volts a lot. So please leave a like if you found that helpful. I recommend having a look at the quantum physics flashcard questions because it leads nicely into that. I'll see you there.